Hey everybody, Tracking Pat here, and today we're gonna to be talking about some things on the RLX control. And one of the first things that I wanna talk about is how to use sub-repeat, as well as how to use the clipboard and how to transpose things back and forth. So first of all, I'm going to show you in this piece part that I've got a part in here and I've got a groove cut right here. And what I need is a second groove right here that's gonna be exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm first of all gonna make the look screen smaller so that I can see what I've got. And here's my first groove in the way that it's described, okay? I'm gonna move this over a little bit more so you can see it better. And so what I'm gonna do is I need another groove just like that, but I need to move it over about a half an inch. So when I slide over here, what I'm going to do is instead of making a groove, I'm gonna use the repeat function. And in the repeat function, it's asking me what I'm repeating, and it's gonna be event 10 and only event 10, okay? And then the X offset doesn't change because that's the diameter, so just no change or ink set. And then the Z offset is what I wanna move minus 0.5. That's also an incremental offset. In this case, I only need one more, and I'm gonna use the same tool. So as I slide this over, you'll see that the first one is in red, and the repeat one is in green. Now when I use a sub, the sub is an exact replica of the original, therefore I can't adjust anything about that particular groove because it's really mimicking this groove. That's one way to do it. If it's the same, it's a shortcut to do it, it works great. But I'm gonna show you another way. So I'm gonna delete this event, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to the edit mode. And in the edit mode, we have a clipboard. And if I open the clipboard, I tell it that what I want to put in here is event 10 and only event 10. So that copies it to the clipboard. Then if I go back to the program, I go into the repeat function and you'll see here it says insert clipboard. And I'm gonna tell it that I wanna insert it with no change to the X, but minus 0.5 to the Z. And you'll see the same exact thing. I have two brand new grooves, right? Okay, so here's the difference. If I move this over a little bit, you'll see that I have two grooves. But what changes now, event number 11 is a brand new groove, so I can change anything about it. For instance, if I needed it to be deeper, I could come in here and say 0.3, and now that groove is deeper than this groove. So the advantage of using the clipboard, it's like using copy and paste. I get a brand new event, and I can change anything about it without affecting the original one, okay? Keep in mind that clipboard can be used for whole sequences of events. So it might be that I have the same type of geometry in one part as I do in the next part I'm gonna program. So therefore I can put that portion of those events into the clipboard, erase the current program, start a brand new program, and import that part back in and then program on from there. So if it's exactly the same, we're gonna use sub-repeat. And if it's different, we're gonna use the copy and paste which is located in the edit mode under the clipboard. I hope this is beneficial to you. I'll see you in the next video. As always, keep on tracking.